Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. So this is the Hard Park Dementor V2 in carbon fiber, running a Fury Tech brushless. Uh, obviously, all the parts break down and everything is in the description, so I'll spare you the uh, the long drawn out blah blah blah. So this uh, is uh, kind of a cliffhanger line, actually, that I discovered last year with the uh, SEX24 uh, Tacoma, the truck that I built which couldn't do it, it couldn't make it around the corner. This thing can, um, and it seems to stay pretty planted coming around that first little part that you saw there. So I decided to hold on and give it a shot. And here's another short little crawl. This is actually a little bit steeper than what it looks, but the tires just bit right on. And it just flows right over into the next little, little, little spot here. Pulls itself right up. Now these are real, the first real couple of crawls that I've ever had, like with this thing out, outside of running it on the indoor course and stuff. So this is a pretty fresh, real world, you know, terrain for for this thing, and it does really well. It's incredibly predictable, and I think I've run it inside enough now that I sort of feel like I have, you know, a little bit of an idea, you know, what it will and won't do. This is actually a pretty good line. Sorry about the uh, not being so centered. Now the way that it just picks up and scoots right over but it throws itself, but then it picks itself, you know, puts itself right back down. And then there was no way that I was gonna make it up this, but I wanted to see just what it would do in this spot, just to see if it would put itself on that rock, and it does. Now I shared a clip of this uh, at Facebook and uh, already uploaded a video segment of it. This was kind of, I would consider to be probably one of the trickier, trickier of the lines that I had done, just because at first it just wouldn't bite onto this even though I felt like it would grab traction somehow, but I was a little hesitant to want to steer too far to the right because that was a pretty far drop into this hole. But it picked right up. And it got a little bit of belly belly hung at the top, but a little bit of movement back and forth, caught traction, which set itself up into this little hole. But it was able to pull itself right up out of that. Now this spot was kind of interesting. I had tried it previously, but it just didn't work. It kind of rolled. So I just decided to like to try to go at it from a lower angle and come up. This was sort of a weird little pocket that the thing just kind of fit right into. And I was gonna see just what it would take to get it up and out of it, to be able to steer it out and around it. And it worked out pretty quick, pretty well. And then of course I used the rock to sort of steer the left rear tire around, kind of almost like acting like a bit of a dig. So that way it just pulled itself right up out of that. So you can see how like a, how much of a pocket that was, how it was all like rutted out, all from all that mineralization from iron deposits basically just rotting out over time anyway this rig is really fun i gotta say that it as far as i'm concerned punches well beyond its weight it's doing lines that i would have never have expected an sdx 24 to be capable of doing it handles vertical climbs much more stably uh, and yeah, tons of traction where it needs it. Now, it, this is not a total success. I just was pushing to see just how far I could try and take it here. This was going to be an impossible line anyway. There was no real point past where I'm trying to climb up here. I just wanted to see if I could actually make it to the top of this ledge. 
and I start to gain traction and I'm almost there. It's like got three quarters of an inch. Like in fact, the wheels are like the left one just bit, but it bit into this crack. And so it almost threw it off backwards. So um, most other SCX 24s would have just flipped over and rolled back over, you know, at that point in time. But this thing just like allows you to back out of really sketchy situations like that and kind of rethink your line if you have a chance. Which is, again, like I was saying earlier about this thing being so predictable and so stable. It just is so well planted. Tons of brass up front, tons of brass in the back. That's my right foot in the lower corner. But anyway, yeah, back at the quarry. This is the first time I've been here this year. Um, they haven't really cleaned out anything. There's still a ton of snow covering a lot of stuff. But I thought I'd get this thing out, get it off the uh, kitchen table out into the real world to get some first shots at it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stick around. There is going to be a lot of this thing in video this summer. So I wouldn't mind entering some competition. So please uh, leave some information down below if you know where any of that sort of thing is happening. This was a line that I knew I really couldn't do, but I wanted to see just how much I really couldn't do it and you're about to see just how much it wouldn't do it it got bound pretty hard and flipped itself right out of that thanks for watching